Robinson. And it's time to talk sports after getting a big victory last night and tying the Owls for second place in the South. The Lopes are back on the field tonight and eager to do what they did last night all over again. A chance to pass the Owls in the standings. Could the Lopes get it done? Roll those highlights. Well, the night began with a beautiful rainbow, but it soon turned into a vicious windstorm. The wind was absolutely no joke tonight. Just look at those flags whip around. You can almost feel it through the screen. Even with the wind against their back, the bats for both teams started slow as we found ourselves scoreless through three. But here in the fourth, Abdel Guadalupe grounds to short. Jalen Hubbard is there to toss it a first for the out, but Peyton Robertson scores to get our first run of the game. one nothing outs. Have a day, Adam Blobaum. He gets Nick Michaels to swing and to miss. Blobaum pitched a shutout through three and had four Ks through four. Still in the fourth, bases loaded two outs, and Josh Glenn smacks it high to center field. And Matt Wong skying for a tremendous grab. Nice glove from Wong gets the Lopes out of the jam in the fourth to the fifth still one nothing and Peyton Robertson hits this ball high and far and to the wall and it's an RBI double that brings in Esteban De La O it's two nothing out same inning same score and well same result Jackson Coots hits this one deep and that one hits the wall Robertson scores without issue and Coots is safe at first Owls make it three to nothing well but could the Lopes find their way on the scoreboard tonight? Well, sort of. The official final score of the game is 4 to nothing Owls. But both teams scored a pair of runs in the sixth to make it 6-2. to two. But it was midway through the sixth when the Lightning arrived. And while well, the Lightning stayed. And thus, it was decided to take away the sixth inning and call the game after five, giving us the 4 nothing final for the Owls. The loss momentarily drops the Lopes out of second place. Records not updated there. It is eight and six for the Owls and seven and seven for the Lopes, but they'll have a chance to tie the Owls once again tomorrow night. First pitch of the rubber match from Saplesio Field is at 635 tomorrow night. No one is denying the passion for high school sports in the Valley. Hundreds of athletes, coaches and parents pour hours into making their high school athletic programs the best they can be. But when it comes to high school mascots on the Western Slope, well, there's certainly some room for improvement. Spencer Rabiano, a student at Fruto, Fruta Monument High School, caught one glimpse of Fruta's mascot and instantly became determined to make a change. For as long as you can remember, Spencer has had a love and admiration for mascots. From Rowdy the Maverick, Cam the Rip, Chip, Mr. Juco, and so many more, seeing these big furry friends has always been the highlight for Spencer. But two years ago, when Spencer saw Fruta's old Waldo Wildcat, he felt the need to make a change. After a year of fundraising, designing, and planning, Spencer finally completed the new Waldo Wildcat. There on the screen is the old Wild Waldo Wildcat that Spencer said, well, Let's make a new one. And as a mascot lover myself and former mascot, let me tell you, folks, the new Waldo is no joke. I got a sneak peek of Waldo, and he is incredible. Join us tomorrow, same time, same channel, for Spencer's full story to creating Fruta's brand new mascot. And one week from today, on the first day of classes, Spencer will unveil the Waldo Wildcat to the world, and KREX5 has got you covered. 